Hello, um, this is another uh, video showing another um, augmented reality app called Blipper. Um, Blipper and Layer, these two down the bottom here, are owned by the same company. Uh, Layer is more for a commercial use, whereas Blipper, they have created a, um, a version for educators like you and I. So uh, let's take a look at what Blipper can do. Go ahead and click the, um, if you go into blipper.com, uh, it will take you into a screenshot like this where you can see all of your projects. So if you want to create one, you just go create new, and then you want to give it a name. So let's say I want to do this for my jump rope uh, skills, and create project. I know I've got a capital U there. And to get the classic builder, the the Blip Builder Classic, you have to email them. Um, you have to email them and request it. Otherwise, I think they're trying to go away from this and they're trying to go to this Blip Builder, the new creation tool. It's a little bit easier. Um, if you're a developer and you want to make things a little bit more advanced, you can have the Blipper API um, version here where you can upload your own content. That's, that's just too much for me. So I'm just going to go to the Blipper app here and click Create. And the next one is, um, just like in Arisma, you want to have a kind of a trigger image in here. For Blipper, they call that a marker, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use a, I don't know, this will be my, well, I, I call this my jump rope, but I'm just going to call this just cardio workout because I already got something like that set up. Um, and then I want to go and find the picture that I want. So here's the picture that I want to use as my marker. And I send it in. It looks like it works. Sometimes you'll get a little message error here saying that the image won't work. Um, they're, they're working around those tweaks just so that um, all the images uh, will be usable. And this is kind of where I have an issue is with how specific they want the image to be. For example, you can't just um, have like a word that says like, uh, I don't know, um, double under, for example. If you just have the word called double under and you're hoping to uh, scan that and have that come to life and to show a video of somebody doing an example of double under, um, um, you can't use that because of the background space. It's, there's too much white so it doesn't work. So I'm going to go next. And when I click next, it's going to actually bring me over to the builder. So, um, an another thing they're going to want you to do too is because this is an educational setting, they do require your students to go into the app of it. So once they have their device ready, um, you have to go into the app and then you have to go under settings and you actually have to put in a code so that it kind of keep everything kind of in-house versus making everything public. Uh, just because of the different content that you can put on here. So, so you can see here's all the stuff that I can put on. I can even upload my own stuff so I can do audio, video, um, a website, you know. So if I wanted to add a website to here, I can just drag this over and drop it there. And then as soon as I do that on the side here, it's going to ask you like where do you want it to go from. So let's say that bit is, uh, I want to use some of these Derby um, video workouts. So I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to go to Video Exercise Library. I'm going to just take one. Um, Air Bite Crunch, sorry. Copy this address. Bring it back to Blipper. And I'm going to put it right here. It says Site URL. I can preview it. If I preview it, it should pop up just like this. So that's exactly what I want. Um, the label, I don't want to call that website. I want to call it Air Bite. Okay. Enter. And as you can see, if you click right here in the middle, you can go, you can drag away, which will decrease the the size or you can drag in which will increase the size so I just want it somewhere visible like that all right um, and that's pretty much it and you can add whatever you want and then when you're done you want to go ahead and test it so when you click the test button um, it is going to okay when you click the test button it is going to give you this little code so you have to go on your settings put in the code and give it a try. So I'm just going to do that really quickly because I'm curious now. Uh, and then once you're done, once you're happy, um, you can just go ahead and click make it live and then you're done. So basically what's going to happen is when they scan this, whatever content you put here, um, for example, like, let me see. Okay. So let's 
sending entry code and I want to enter that code which is 363432 and, and you only have to do this one time um, once once you have entered the code one time you're good to go so uh, as long as you like use the same kind of uh, as long as you use the same campaign or a campaign is like if you made a whole project and then the kids would just have to be able to just type in that code once and then and then um, they should be good to go so so ideally what happens is when you scan this image um, this little word air bike will pop up on your device you click on that air bike and then it takes you to the video so you can add whatever you want around here being that this will be the marker okay that's pretty much it thanks for tuning in have a great day